you have American Samoa right next to Samoa uh, and like any other Pacific Island country we have our McDonald's and uh, KFC's and so forth we have the advertisements of vegetable oils and you know um, so yes the Western diet is now being uh, accepted throughout the Pacific it's what Professor Campbell calls the diseases of affluence, you see. Uh, the, the one positive note in Samoa is that 40 years ago, these diseases were rare. Because people were then at that time eating a plant-based diet. And occasionally you would have, for the Sunday brunch, you might have a fish or you might have a chicken or a pig, which is a traditional uh, gift item, um, but nowadays, as some of the speakers said, we have Christmas every day. <laughs> when I, 40 years ago, when I arrived in Samoa, um, we, we actually had a, an expression that these diseases were only uh, found with the, the, the church ministers, because they usually are the recipients of food gifts and so forth. And, and they were more, it was almost an occupational hazard for them. But they're the only ones who would have diabetes. In those days, it was rare to find those. You must realize, although Samoa is so-called a third world country, we have the same disease pattern that you people have here. We have 22% of our adult population is obese. 23% uh, have high blood pressure, and so forth and so forth. So it was for my own benefit, but also for the benefit of my patients, that I wanted to see what was new in the world. And to my surprise, um, you know, when you read about the research done and the work done by uh, Dr. McDougall, Dr. Esselstein, uh, Professor Campbell, and others, uh, you realize that a lot of this information was there, but just hasn't been um, uh, di divulged properly. I recall before I left a few days ago, I asked one of our chief uh, internists, uh, do you know about Dean Ornish? Never heard of it, you know? So uh, I'm here because I wanted to see how best we can disseminate this information within a population. Now, Samoa is a very small country. Uh, it's 200,000 people scattered in two islands which are close together. So we have pretty good communications uh, between villages. And, uh, and so I think with all the information I have, plus the four months personal uh, experience with the plant-based diet, um, we're going to give it a trial and we're going to try to influence people to switch to this type of diet. I, do, I don't think it will be difficult because we have a mountain of disease, a mountain of discomfort, a mountain of misery. A lot will have to be translated in Samoan, in the local language, but we've had already some test cases of very severe uh, cardiac uh, patients with, with cardiac failure that were referred to the sleep clinic and uh, were really sent to us because the doctors didn't know what more to do. And two of these patients we have put on the plant-based diet uh, with more or less just advice of how to do it. I think now we have to find a way of getting a chef to show how to make the recipes, in a way. Um, and, and it's been a tremendous result. It's just these two patients. And as I said, it's a small country, and word of mouth goes very fast. So I'm very optimistic.